I will give KGBB a a a, uh, a brief view of what might be happening Thursday, uh, much to the chagrin of your competing TV stations. And that's if you look at our uh, syndromic, our epidemiological, and our healthcare criteria. Uh, given the uh, reporting by your station, it looks to me like we're going to be able to get into stage one. How's that for a new scoop? Yeah, how about that new scoop? We'll take it, Governor. We begin tonight's news at 10 with, you just heard it, a message from Governor Brad Little. A message that shows all signs are leading to Idaho entering phase one of reopening this Friday. Since the governor announced his four phase plan, many of you have been asking what legal authority, if any, individual cities and counties have to differ from the state's plan if they want to act differently. Our Misty Inglet joins us now with the answer. Misty. Kim, the question is, do cities or counties have any legal authority to defy or alter the governor's plan for reopening? The simple answer at this point is depends on what the governor does next. Governor Brad Little's current statewide stay at home order set to expire April 30th. Last week, the governor announced a four phase plan to cautiously reopen Idaho businesses after that expiration. The plan lays out what could open under each stage and what criteria would need to be met to do so. But are those stages umbrella guidelines, meaning cities or counties could adjust with their own plans? Former Idaho Attorney General David Leroy says to answer that, the key word is order. Unless the so-called recommendations are adopted in some kind of order format or form, uh, any violation of recommendations would not necessarily carry a misdemeanor penalty and would therefore not necessarily be enforceable in the same way that the quarantine order has been to date. KTVB also reached out to the Idaho Attorney General's office. We were given this letter from Deputy AG Brian Kane, who recently addressed the governor's constitutional authority after the stay at home order was issued. In the letter, Kane writes that, quote, Supreme executive power is vested within the governor under the Idaho Constitution, and that under Idaho code, orders like the stay at home one can be issued. The Attorney General's office directed KTVB to specific Idaho codes, including the section on martial law, which reads in part, quote, during a period of state of extreme emergency, the governor shall have a complete authority. And later, he can issue and enforce rules, regulations, and orders which he considers necessary for the protection of life. So under Idaho code, a city or county could not defy a governor's order. Leroy cited a different section of Idaho code, public health, but reached the same conclusion. City and a county can't either ignore the order uh, or make more lenient orders. Leroy also told me that if necessary and appropriate, in some cases, cities can make their guidelines, their restrictions more stringent or more precise than what the state allows, but not more lenient. Again, this all hinges on whether Governor Little decides to make part or all of those phases of reopening in order or keep them as recommendations. As for local cities and what their plans are, most are waiting for more information from the governor before finalizing those specific plans. Kim? A question for you. How then was Boise able to place restriction on certain businesses before the state's stay at home order was issued last month? Well, the important word right there is it was done before the governor's order was in place. And if you remember when he made that announcement, other areas like Blaine County also had orders in place like shelter oh, in right. place. And he did say that his order would take precedence over those. That's right, and that's yeah. because in most cases like this, those state orders do have more power over city rulings. Boy, new territory for all those lawyers to figure out out there. All right, Misty, thank you. We appreciate it.